G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in this video, we're just gonna take a look at something that you need to be aware of when you are working in the ideas section of uh, Microsoft Loop. Now in Microsoft Loop, as we can see on the screen, we have this section called ideas where you can create pages that are just for yourself or you can share them with other people. Uh, and then you can also add these pages to uh, other workspaces. Now, I've seen this mentioned a few times uh, online and also had some messages about this, uh, about um, what happens when you add one of these pages to a workspace. Many thought that it was like a template. So you could create uh, a template in this ideas section of the application, and then you could add that or make a copy of that and add that to a workspace. But let's have a look at what the experience is like and what happens when you do add a, a page in the from the ideas section to to a workspace. So you can see I've got a, a page here called Team Decisions being based off one of the templates that come with the application. Now, one of the features here is that we can select, and you can see that I'm in the ideas section, I'm on the All tab, I can open, rename, add it to a workspace or delete. Now, let's add this to a workspace. So when I click Add to Workspace, you'll see all of your workspaces that you've got access to appear. So let's add this to Project Alpha. All right, so you can see at the top here, it's adding to workspace. Once it's complete, we'll get a notification that that has been done and we're good to go. So let's jump over to Project Alpha and let's have a look at our team decisions uh, page here. So here we click on team decisions and we've got that page added to the workspace. Now, if we just jump back into ideas, let's now also add this to another workspace. So let's add it to Mastering Microsoft Loop. So we're adding this page again to uh, Mastering Microsoft Loop that's been completed. Now, if we jump back over to Mastering Microsoft Loop, you can see that we've got this page here uh, where, that we can now access. Now, these actually aren't copies of that page. They're actually all synced. So if I make a change to this page here, so let's go um, Microsoft Loop um, Course Team Decisions. All right, so I'll make I'll change the title of this to that there. All right, so we've changed it in the context of this workspace. Now, if I jump back into Ideas and open up this um, Teams decision, what we'll see is that that uh, that title and what I've what I've changed inside of the other workspace has actually synced to this page as well. So it isn't actually a replica. It is a synchronized page, even though we started it in our ideas section and added it to workspaces, it doesn't make a copy, it actually synchronizes. Now, if I click up in the top uh, top uh, navigation bar up here, you can also see that where, these, um, where this page is actually shared with and where it's opened in. So you can see that it's now opened in ideas, which is the source of this page. And if it was open in another workspace, then you would also see that it's opened in that workspace. So what I'm gonna do is I will jump over into Alex's um, Invo uh, loop experience over here. And then you can see that I've got that page there too. And you'll see that I open this page. Now, if I move this back across, even though I've got this page open in my ideas section, you can see that Alex is editing this page. He's got this page open, but it's in the context on context of the Microsoft, uh, Mastering Microsoft Loop workspace, all right? So now when we click back on here, you can see that where it's open, it's open in ideas and open in project alpha. Now what happens when we delete one of these pages? So let's say I am in my ideas, I've started this and I've added it to my workspaces. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, let's have a look at the experience when I'm in a uh, workspace and I delete this page. So I'm in here as Alex, I'll click the three little dots and I will hit delete. So we'll see here, we get a confirmation. Are you sure you wanna delete? Deleting it will also delete all of its sub pages, et cetera, et cetera, in this workspace. And if it's linked to any other, uh, linked in any in other workspaces, those links will no longer work. All right, so something to be aware of there. I've deleted that from this workspace. All right, let's go back into Megan and let's open this page up. You can see that that still works. All right, so it's still in my ideas section. 
Now we did also have it in Project Alpha. So what we'll see is when we move this, we can see that we do have, still have access to that page. So I've deleted it from a workspace, all right? Um, and I've still got access to the page in the ideas section um, and also in the context of any other workspace uh, that, has that has that page added to it. But watch what happens when I remove it or I delete it from the ideas section. All right, so up the top, top right hand corner, we can hit delete. Or if we're on the ideas page, I can go click the three little dots and hit delete and same dialog box comes up, same warning, I'll hit delete, and now that has disappeared from my ideas section. What happens now when I go to Project Alpha and I'll go to this page? You can see that I'll get this error message to say this file isn't available anymore. All right, so it may be moved or deleted or you may not have access to it. So when you delete or when you create a page in your ideas se uh, section and you add it to a workspace if you delete it from that ideas it will delete it from any other workspace that ha uh, that it has been added to but if you delete it or remove it from a workspace then it just removes it from that in the context of that workspace so something to take uh, be aware of when you're working with pages inside of your ideas section and you're using it using those pages and adding them to uh, the uh, other workspaces just be aware of that process there thanks for watching hope that brings you some value and i'll see you in the next episode